from the Holy Land Experience. We are so thrilled to have a gentleman here with us from Africa that has seen people raised from the dead. He has, he has seen blind eyes open. He has a 30,000 member church. For Uganda? Uganda. <laughs> and has been one of my son Matt's best friends for many, many, many years. And we love you, Robert Kayanja. We're taping this for Network. But I just want to say to everybody, I love you. Thank you for coming to the Holy Land. Thank you for making all of our hard work here very special. <laughs> when you come, that's what it's all about. And we thank you for that from the bottom of our hearts. And I pray today that you will receive your miracle. And I thank God that you were here the day God brought us. Robert Kayanja, welcome to Holy Land. Thank you, Mama Jen, thank you. Why don't we stand up on our feet? Let's just stand up on our feet. We're gonna do something for Jesus. And, um, and I'm gonna ask my brothers and sisters up there before we start and we are going to uh, if you can come down here. While we minister today, God will give us a prophetic word. It may be for you, it may be for you, it may be up there for you. But it would be wonderful if you could come, you know, and fill up these places. And, uh, and I believe God is going to touch you in such a special way today. I'm so excited. Do you feel the anointing of God in this house? Why don't we clap our hands to Jesus as worthy well your praise. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your spirit which is filling our hearts today and minister to us in such a special way in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. Give somebody a high five and tell him I'm in a holy place. Well, Mama Jen has done a great, fantastic job. I mean, when you look at here, there's no, there is no place that is so beautiful like this place. Uh, and, and we thank God for the gift of God and the Spirit of God that God has done in our life. Well, it's 40 years of Trinity Broadcasting Network around the world. I'm from Uganda. My name is Robert Kayanja. Ah, uh, yes. Some of you don't really have an idea. I was 11 years old when TBN went on the air 40 years ago. So I have grown and raised by TBN. TBN is not only just a television network. TBN, what it does is like a Bible college. It brings the best of the best and they preach to you every day, 24 seven. In most of the countries, I've just come back from Tonga Island. Tonga is in the Pacific. It's where the sun begins to shine and rise. People are watching TBN. Even when other national televisions are not working, TBN is working. We need to clap our hands and thank God for what God is doing through TBN. Through uh, Mama Jen and, and Dr. Paul, they have done a fantastic job. You have no idea. You know, the Bible talks about principalities and bring the, bringing them down on the ground. How do you bring down principalities of every nation unless you go through the airwaves? Unless you put the word of God out there and through singing, through drama, through preaching, through the prophetic word. What is, is, is doing for the body of Christ, we, we've, churches have become better, preachers have become better because of them watching Trinity Broadcasting Network. It's just not just a network, a Christian programming. This is a real lifeline to millions and billions of people around the world. I thought you were going to clap your hands to Jesus and give him the glory. So it is very, very important for us to begin to understand. And I pray that everybody who's watching this will rise up to a moment of realizing that the gospel must be preached and then the world will come to an end. The only way the world is going to come to an end is when the gospel is being preached. In the Arab world, in the African world, in the Asian world. I was in Australia and TBN was on. I was in Indonesia and TBN is on. Somebody need to clap your hands to Jesus. The gospel is being preached. So I'm such honored by God to see what God has done. I was 11 years old. Now I'm 50, 
one years old when TBN began preaching the gospel and we have seen a blessing we have received and we thank God for all the partners of TBN because you make it happen and when you do that God does a great work I have a word for you um, and I pray that God will bless you in the book of 2nd Samuel there is a wonderful story chapter 6 it talks about that David it begins with this word and again David gathered 30,000 men of Israel choice men not every man in order to go and bring the ark of a covenant and the purpose was David is no stranger to fighter to fighting he began fighting the lions and the bears at the age of 14 and he killed them he began to kill giants at the age of 18 so he's no stranger to battlefield he's no stranger but there was a particular battle that he wanted to fight and win and that was the battle of bringing the ark of a covenant into the city of David because when the presence of God is in the city diseases reduces poverty reduces trouble reduces so that battle was so it had failed other people like King Saul failed and and others who came before him so David decided and purposed in his heart that I will go and bring the Ark of a Covenant but there were conditions for him to bring the Ark of a Covenant of course as he traveled to bring the Ark of a Covenant we all know the story that one of the holy people one of the most righteous people touched the Ark of a Covenant and he dropped dead what do you do David was afraid to bring the Ark of a Covenant into the city of David so he took the seat that this Ark of a covenant and he takes it to the house of Obedidom. Obedidom means a servant of servants, means a slave of the slave. He was from Gath, a very very place of Goliath, where he came from. He's a Philistine, uncircumcised. He doesn't know the ways of Israel. But David le left him with the Ark of a Covenant because of fear. And guess what happened? In 90 days, ever say 90 days. 90. Because the Bible said in 90 days, in one season, you know, that was 90 days, three months. Three months is 90 days. So in 90 days, ever said 90 days. 90 days. The whole nation of Israel and surrounding nations had heard that Obedidom had been blessed. The Bible said that everything in his house was blessed, including the cockroaches. <laughs> everything you could think of was blessed. The rats that came out of his house were as big as a rabbit. I mean, uh, that, that's a blessing of God. And everybody knew that this man had been blessed. And so King David comes to get Ark of the Covenant. I have a message for each one of you and those of you watching by television. This is the message. In 90 days, your troubles are coming to an, over, uh, coming to an end. In 90 days. In 90 days. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord has sent me with the word that in 90 days, your troubles are coming to an end. Why? Because of the presence of God. Oh, lift up your hand and say, I need the presence of God. You do know that when the presence of God comes, sickness leaves. My brother over there with a crutch, I want you to listen to me. In, 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 when the presence of God comes, the crippled legs begin to walk again. The blind eyes begin to see. The deaf ears begin to and be unstopped. Cancer begins to leave your body. When the presence of God is there, poverty leaves your house. Oh, your enemies will flee away from you. So the presence of God has something. But remember this, that God is a God of covenant. Let's say covenant. And there are three covenants on this earth that God has been operating through. Covenant number one is the Adamic covenant, the covenant of Adam. Every covenant, you must understand, it carries three things. And this is the message God has given me. It must be three participants in every covenant. The presence of God is not coming to you on a contract. When God blessed the world, the body of Christ, with 20 broadcasting, he wasn't giving us a contract. A contract can be violated. A contract can be broken. A contract can be cancelled. But the covenant is always revisited over and over again. A covenant cannot easily be broken. You can't be thrown out of a covenant. And you and my brother, you and me, we are in the covenant of God. We are in the grace of God, in the mercies of God. And today is your day. In 90 days, your troubles are coming to an end. Now, listen to this. So, every covenant must have three participants. There must be a pronouncer of the covenant. And in most cases, a pronouncer of a covenant is Jehovah God Almighty. God is the one who pronounced, I'll bless thee, I'll make you great, I love you. God is the pronouncer. But the proclaimer is you and me. Man must claim it. 
We must claim it. We must claim that healing. We must claim that blessing. We must claim that salvation of your loved ones. You must claim that. You must take it back. The kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violent take it by force. You cannot simply say, well, whatever will, will be, whatever will. We had a problem in Uganda when Idi Amin was in power. For eight years, he killed over a million people. He killed over a thousand pastors. We went, to go, we went underground and we began to claim our nation back. And for sure we got it back because it's in the covenant of God whatever the devil has stolen from you you're gonna get it today in Jesus name so there must be a, a claimer a proclaimer somebody who pronounce that and then there must be a provider in every covenant in the Adamic covenant we see the provider was the animal because it's what provided the blood every covenant must be sealed with the blood it must be sealed with the blood. So it was the animal that donated the blood. No wonder Cain acted like an animal. He jumped on his brother and he killed him. Because every blood that you use, it gives you the character thereof. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. Every blood you are under will give you the character thereof. So if you are using the blood of animals, you're going to act like animals. Oh, I feel like slapping somebody today. You, 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 you cannot, you cannot simply, if you use the blood of gods and animals, you're going to act like a god. You're going to act like a, whatever it is. But if you use the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to act like a, oh, oh Lord, man, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Okay, so, then the second covenant is a covenant of which you call the Abrahamic covenant. This one, God is the one who pronounced Genesis chapter 12. I'll bless thee, I'll make your nation great, I'll make you great, I'll do this. Whoever blesses you, I'll, curse, well, well, I'll bless. Whoever curses you, I'll curse. Now, that was, Abraham had to claim it, and he went on claiming it. God pronounced it, Abraham claimed it. But also, Abraham was the donor of the blood. And from the time of Abraham up to Jesus Christ, it was the blood of man working. That's why man, man was falling. Man was, was you know, being taken into captivity. Man was being uh, slapped all over around. Even if it was God's people. They were being suffering from day to day, time and time. Because the blood which was donated was the blood of human being. Now we've got the Messianic covenant. And in this covenant, God pronounced, I love you. God pronounced, I'm calling you back. God is calling you His righteousness. And man has to claim it. But the donor of blood is God himself through Jesus Christ. That's what makes it a difference. That's what makes the difference. So now we have the character of Jesus. Oh, somebody say, I have the character of Jesus. What is the character of Jesus? It overcomes. It heals the sick. It, 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 it drives the devil out. It, it, it doesn't tolerate false, uh, nonsense. I told the person next to you, said, I'm under the blood of Jesus. I have the character of Jesus. Today, you are, you are, you're not going back the way you came. Oh yeah, I say you're not going back the way you came in Jesus' name. Because you have now the character of Jesus. Now, this is the word the Lord told me to give you. That Obedidom took this ark of a covenant. Remember that God delivered the children of Israel when he said in Exodus chapter 2 verse 24, he said, I have remembered the covenant I made with Abraham. Now I've come to deliver you. He's watching upon his word to perform it. God is not going to do anything for you because you look so cute. God is not going to do anything because of you, because you are walking around and around church. God is going to do something because he has remembered the covenant. And the covenant he made with his people, he said, No weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. Now, there is something about the covenant of God which is called the name. In the Adamic covenant, the man was Adam, 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 and God never changed his name. For Abraham, God changed his name and called him, you are no longer Abraham, because your name can only occupy little space. He said, we need to enlarge your name. Hey, your, your name is too small. You, we, we need to enlarge your name. Because everything you ever have is in a name. Somebody say the name. Now, in the, in the Messianic covenant, he has given us a name that is above all names. Oh, the name of Jesus. Now watch this. And then Mama, Mama Jen, this, this is a word for Trinity Broadcasting Network, which the Lord told me before I pray for the sick. Is that 
after 40 years, like it is, it's a new generation coming. But it's not, when you talk about generation, people think it's new people. Sometimes it's not new people. Sometimes it's a continuation of what God has been doing. But after 40 years, he compounds the anointing. Now it comes double. Oh, you didn't hear I just said. Now it becomes double. And once it becomes double, then also the devil rises up to try to fight. But the covenant of God, it's in the name. The name is Trinity. Trinity is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nobody has ever fought and won that level. No one. No one. You can't fight God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the same time and win. The last time Jesus and the devil got together, the devil lost the keys of the kingdom. I feel like stop slapping somebody right now. The last time I, I heard that when, even when God was in the garden of Eden with Adam, the last time the devil lost his arms and legs. He became immobile. I'm here to tell you, the devil has been knocking on your door, but today it is over with him. It is over with him. It is over with him. Lift up your hands and say, it is over with him. So the word of the Lord, is said, in 90 days, all the troubles you've been having is coming to an end. The Lord spoke to me all the way from Uganda. He said, in 90 days, declare the word, in 90 days. Somebody needs to stand up on your feet and declare, in 90 days, my troubles are coming to an end. Somebody say, in 90 days. Somebody say, in 90 days. My brother, in 90 days, the Lord has a better plan for you than you have ever known before. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody, lift up your hands. In 90 days. Say it again. Yes, somebody, somebody, you, 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 you've got a pain in your leg. You, you've, got, you, you've got a pain in your leg. It, it, the pain is, 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 is so much. It is there. You, 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 you know, you, you've got a pain in your, in your leg. Where are you? Where are you? Come here quickly, please. Where are you? Where are you? In Jesus' name. You've been having that pain, that pain, that pain. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'll come down there. Okay. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, in Jesus' name. This is my time. This is my moment. How long have you been having the pain? Mama Jane, come. We're going to pray for these people. Six months. In Jesus' name. I, I need some people, some ashes who can catch these people just in case they fall down. And, 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 and I'll, I'll need some help. We rebuke this pain to leave you. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, move that leg, move that leg, move that leg, brother. In Jesus' name. How do you feel? Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Start praising God. Just go over there and start praising God. Just run, run, run around there. Just run around there. What's happening, mama? We rebuke that pain in Jesus' mighty name by the power of the Holy Spirit. We rebuke that pain in Jesus' mighty name. Loser in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We rebuke that pain. How long have you had the pain? Six months are over. The pain is here. Uh -huh. Now breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Lift that leg. In Jesus' name. How do you feel? Just walk over there. Just walk over there. In Jesus' name. We rebuke this pain in Jesus' mighty name. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. We rebuke this pain to go. Yes, yes. We rebuke this pain in Jesus' name. We rebuke this pain in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How long have you had the pain? A year. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel now? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. How long have you had the pain? In the name of Jesus, we rebuke this pain to go in Jesus' name. Yes, what's happening? What's happening? Uh huh. We rebuke this pain in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, we rebuke this sickness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. What, how long have you been suffering? Five months. Five months. We rebuke that pain. We rebuke that pain to leave you. In Jesus' mighty name. Pain, go. Your knees. Yes. Your knees. Your knees. In Jesus' name. Just walk over there. Just walk over there. In Jesus' name. What's happening? 
your knees. We rebuke that pain to go in Jesus' name. Every knee be healed in Jesus' name. Yes, ma'am. Your knee in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke that pain to go. Yes, my brother. How are you? So you've been having this pain for how long? 40 years. I got I have a claustrophobic and my, my legs, my, my whole back is, now that I'm getting older, it's getting worse. And it's in that leg, you, you feel the pain. It's, it's the whole body, that's hard to explain. My whole, my whole, my whole body, is, back is getting deteriorated, there's no help. Okay, now, now look at me, look at me. When I say in Jesus' name, you put this hand on me. You let go of your stick, you put this hand on me when we say in Jesus name no weapon formed against you as you as, as you paid the price to defend freedom Jesus paid the price for your body he paid the price for your body he paid the price for your body in Jesus name no more pain no more suffering no more sickness no more disease receive your healing my brother in jesus name spine be healed in jesus name amen, amen. come here my brother praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. No more pain, no more suffering, no more pain. No more pain. Somebody say in 90 days. Somebody say in 90 days. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, totally heal, restore his legs. Father, he paid the price. For the world now give him his healing in Jesus mighty name oh somebody clap your hands to Jesus glory to God 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 be healed in Jesus name 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 be healed mama in Jesus name somebody here somebody here you got a problem it's like blindness in one of your eye your eye is blind you, you you cannot see with one of your eye come here quickly please come here quickly please your eye cut is blind okay take out your eye your, your glasses which eye is blind okay touch your eyes there. which eye is blind this eye we pray for this oh Ramosha Raba. people lift up your hand say in the name of Jesus Listen to this, brothers and sisters. The covenant of God, by His stripes, we are healed. Say it again. By His stripes. How long have you been blind? About two years. Say, Jesus, thank you. Say, Jesus, Jesus thank you. Thank you. You died. You died. That I may see. That I may see. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Touch, Holy Spirit. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just do what I do. Just do what I do. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. And all the sugar diabetes dies out of your system. And all the sickness dies out of your body. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Which eye is blind? Anybody else? Blind in your eye? Blind in this eye? Put your hands there, mama. In Jesus' name. Father, people stretch out your hand. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. 
In Jesus name Mama receive your sight Pick up, pick up quickly please Pick up, pick up Charlie pick up in Jesus mighty name My Lord, my Lord Hallelujah Open this eye in Jesus name Open this eye huh. Do what I do How long have you been blind in this life? Since birth. Yes, since birth. I was born blind in this eye. You were born blind in this eye. Just do what I do. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. My Lord, my Lord. Listen, 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 listen. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord gave me a word for Trinity Broadcast Network and the partners. For 40 years, you have seen this great ministry of Dr. Paul and Jane Crouch touch the world. We are fruit of what God has done. I'm telling you, we are fruit. Where no preacher can go, TBN has gone. And the Lord gave me a word, Mama. The Lord gave me a word. He said, God is raising 4 million people. And those of you watching, wherever you're watching me, Four million of us, four million of us, including me first. This, in these 90 days, in these 90 days, this is what the Lord told me. Four million of you to start praying for 90 days. To pray for 90 days. Every day, every day for 90 days. For your own miracles and for miracles of others but mostly for the miracle of Trinity Broadcasting Network because in 90 days every nonsense is coming to an end in the name of Jesus and, and the Lord also mama told us in 90 days our church miracle center cathedral and and and, and, and our affiliates we are planting four thousand dollars in 90 days to Trinity Broadcasting Network the reason why the Lord told us to do that because we are celebrating 40 years and there is a miracle about number 40 when you reach 40 it's a new generation how many of you want to see a new generation in america how many of you want to see a, 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 a generation in america of people who really love the lord now those of you have been working and moving with this network for 40 years i was 11 years old when tbn started when god spoke to you and dr paul and when god spoke to you i was i, I was not planning to be a preacher i never wanted to be a preacher but thank God for TBN. Thank God for TBN. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Millions of people have come to the Lord. Millions of people. Preachers who are supposed to quit are no longer quitting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God. That's why I'm, I'm enlisting you right now. In 90 days, every day, call upon the name of Paul and Jane Crouch. Matthew and Lori. Just cry out to the Lord. But in 90 days, everything is over. For you, for me, for everybody. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We have three minutes. I want to pray for these people. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, touch this man in Jesus' name. Do miracles, signs, and wonders in his life. Lord, do miracles, signs, and wonders in his life. Lord, do miracles, signs, and wonders in his life. Do signs and wonders in his life. Do signs and wonders in his life. Do signs and wonders in his life. In Jesus' name. There are people here who are believing God for babies. You are believing God for babies. You've been believing God for have a baby, but you don't have a baby. Put up your hand. We're going to pray for you. There are people here, you are in debt. You are believing God, God to get you out of debt. Yeah, you, you want God to pay your mortgage. Put up your hand. Just surround us here. The anointing is already here. Just, just come out. Just come out and surround this altar. Just come on and get on the steps, whatever. We are here. 